What's up guys, Celestia here again, bringing you in our quick and easy achievement guide for Broforce. This has kind of came to light that there's actually cheats you can use on the PC Game Pass version. Doesn't affect the achievements, it just basically, you can play the Xbox version but you can't use a keyboard and mouse, it doesn't work. So, you'll probably hear the yeah. There you go, that is you entering one of the cheats. So the cheats are Alaskan Pipeline, Seagull and Abraham Lincoln. All you do is just type them in your keyboard. If they don't work for any reason, like if you have your Xbox controller plugged in, because that happened to me, just quit the game and load it back up again and try again. And once you've done that, basically that enables all the bros. It allows you to just kind of teleport through the campaign by controlling F11. And that's kind of just how you go through this easily. So we're going to start a new campaign on Iron Bro. And yep, just overwrite any save data you have on hard mode. And every time you go to a level, all we're going to do is control in F11. This skips the entire level. The only one you don't want to do it on is after, I think it's number 15. You go to the White House and you just kind of want to walk up to the president and that ends the game. And it gets you basically about 500 gamer score from just doing that. That only takes like a few minutes. But I will explain the rest of the achievements. Just I'll skip past this so you can see the ending part. And you can see me skip some of these levels. I'll just show you just now. So this is, I don't know why my capture is being a bit weird here. But basically, go into the level. You can skip this little part if you want. And then... As soon as it starts, just control F11. And there you go. That skips the level. Level's done. And then you just do that for all the levels, and then you move on to the other achievements, which I'll show you. Yep, so once you've completed number 15, you're going to go into this level, which is level 0, which is the one with the president in it. And you're just going to walk straight through the level, and then you're going to unlock all these wonderful achievements. High fives all around! We saved the world in about two minutes. And they should all start unlocking round about now. There you go. I'm glad I finally figured out how to record the PC achievements. But yes, you'll get about 500 gamer score from just doing this because of the hard mode, completing the campaign, Iron Bro, etc. And then what we're going to do is we're going to jump into getting some of the miscellaneous achievements. There is one that's a little bit buggy slash difficult, which I'll kind of tell you about in a minute. But yeah, the game's pretty fun if you want to play it normally, because I actually started it back in 2020 or 2019, I believe. But yeah, good game, but we're achievement hunters, we want to get achievements fast. So yeah, on to the next part. So one of the other achievements you have to do is you have to kill all the seagulls on the world map. So you just do it like this, just by ramming your helicopter into them. I just basically started a new game on normal and just did this. Just ran into every seagull. I think there's about 30 odd. So, it takes a little while and some of them can kind of push down and up throughout the world map, but if they do, just keep circling left and right. You can kind of see some of the seagulls in the shadow that are quite far away from you, so... They're quite easy to hit after you've flown about for a bit, but yeah. There's about 30, so it does take a few minutes, and you kind of figure out how they actually move around and how fast they can be. But yeah, once you've done that, you'll get the achievement for that. I won't get it because I've already got the achievement, so I will skip ahead because I'm just showing you how to actually do this one. Right, so on to one of the other miscellaneous achievements. What we're going to do is start up the game again and go to level 1. And then we're going to keep restarting the level until we get the bros that we want. So this is Sean Connery as a bro. And what you want to do is throw a martini glass with the special button, which is usually your B button, at someone and it just kills them. And there you go. Shaken, not stirred. This achievement is for dying as the brominator while in metallic form. So the way you do this is, this is the first level again, as you can see. You want to make sure you go down here and press B to turn into the metal form and then just fall in the pit. And then there you go. You get the thumbs up like you do in the actual movie. And there you go. Easy achievement. And we're going to do this for a few different bros. So the next one is the time bro, which obviously just do the same again. Start level one and keep restarting the level till you get the right one. And what we're going to do is we're going to stop time with his B ability and we're going to kick the guy a few times with the Y button. Just like this. And you have to kick them three times before they die. So there you go, easy peasy. This guy is another one that requires an achievement, but there's a different level for him. So I'll show you guys that in a second. Right, so the next one is the Commando Bro, and all you need to do for this is just throw the devil off of the roof. And the way you do this is you can knife like this with Y button, but all you want to do to throw someone is just hold it. So hold Y and run up to the person. Or hold Y on top of them and it'll throw them in a direction that you're facing. So he kind of j just did this, he didn't get thrown off the edge, but he just ran off the edge and it worked anyway, so I guess that works too. <laughs> but yeah, now we're going to move on to the other ones. 
The next one is the Kill Bill Bro, and her special ability with B is just to basically punch things and make them explode. So all you need to do is go up to the top where the devil is, use the B button on him, he explodes after you punch him, and then there you go. Just to remind you guys, the majority of these are done on level 1, just because it's such an easy level, and we can skip them anyway with the cheats. So for this achievement, the quickest way I found to get it is level 2, and it's the Last Supper achievement, which is for killing 10 terrorists with a single turkey bomb. So as soon as you get in the level, just keep restarting a few times until you get this guy. So when you get him, all we're going to do is just run through the level. The enemies on normal mode don't tend to shoot you really fast, so I just managed to walk past most of everybody, as you can see here. And then we're going to get to near the end of the level. There is probably a couple parts here where you can do it, but I just wanted to make sure I had enough enemies. So you get to almost where the devil is at the end of the level. And with his turkey bombs, it's kind of like a lure. So as long as there's a lot of enemies, it'll pull them towards it, and then you can detonate it. So you throw it with B, it sits there for a bit, and then you can detonate it with B. So I just get to here, wait for a few to spawn, and then run to the right where the devil is. So let these guys spawn, run over them, get down here, and jump up to where the devil is. Kill these guys with just your melee attack, because he throws dynamite, so you don't want to accidentally kill the devil. And then all you want to do is just throw the turkey bomb. I was a bit more cautious just making sure I could get closer to them, but you could probably just jump and throw the turkey bomb and most of them will just come down to it. So just punch these guys out. This bit was dangerous because I could have died here. But just throw the turkey bomb, let them all come to it, and then B button. The explosion's quite big, so it'll probably kill them. There you go. The Last Supper. Right, so this next achievement can be easily done on level 7, and it's for returning a grenade to a terrorist and killing them with it. So basically throwing a grenade back at them. And all you want to do is just kind of run a little bit through the level. I'll just show you guys the full recording because I don't want you to miss it. It's quite close to the start of the level. So you want to get up on top of the buildings. Just make sure you don't die. Kill these guys, kill the big dude, and then slide across. And these big guys right here are the ones you throw the grenades back at. The way you do that is just by using your trusty melee button. So just hold Y when, it's, when you're near it and it'll toss it in the direction you're facing. So at this point I was like, yeah, this isn't going to work. So I tried to jump up and grab it, you can't. So you can't grab it midair. So the way I do it is just kind of stand near him. They don't attack you or anything, they just throw grenades. So I was trying to see if I could grab the grenade near him. And then I just throw it to these guys over here and it kills them. And there you go. That's that achievement unlocked. Easy peasy. And before we get to the final achievement, I'm going to let you guys know about a couple I'm not going to show you in this video because I already unlocked them years ago. One is for killing an enemy by launching them on the propane tanks. These are the ones that fire left or right or up and down. And they're pretty easy to get, so you just basically hit them with a bullet or something and it flies in one direction or another. And most of the time you'll end up killing people by accident in most of these levels by blowing things up. The other one is killing a terrorist with a deflected bullet. You do this by using blade. So when you are on him, you press X instead of Y and he'll use the sword and you just keep spamming it, you'll deflect the bullets that they fire you and then that's another easy one to do. So this last one I'm about to show you is actually one of the hardest ones in the game, in my opinion. And I'll show you right now. So for this achievement, you'll need to go to level 8 and you'll need to play through until you get to the Sky Fortress boss. Here you'll see me actually just jump into the level and fight the boss, but that's only because I played through to the boss. So if you do restart your game out of rage, you'll still be able to come back to this boss itself. So, a few people have been having trouble with this achievement and it might either be bugged or it might just be the fact that it has to be done in a specific way. Because I managed to get it in a specific way on my Xbox, but I'm pretty sure I could have probably got it in a specific way on the PC as well. I was playing on the PC, like you guys can see from all the achievements popping up, but when I was doing this on the PC, it wouldn't unlock. The way this achievement unlocks is by throwing someone off of the Sky Fortress, Sky Fortress. as Indiana Bronze. So you need to make sure you have him. So get to this part of the level, keep restarting the level and get Indiana Bronze, and then shoot your gun so it blows up the cannons for the rockets on the side of the the Sky Fortress and then jump on top and wait for people to spawn and then just hold Y and throw them off left or right. I did this so many times you guys have no idea. I maybe did it for about 15-20 minutes before I was like nah this ain't working. But then I went onto my Xbox and I'd already played it a bit like I said because I unlocked achievements back in the day and it took maybe like 2-3 attempts because I did it as the Sky Fortress was in the air. I'm not sure if that factors into anything but it unlocked exactly that time and no other time I threw someone off when the Sky Fortress was flying in the air 
Probably because it's harder to do. But the Sky Fortress does fly up and down while you're on it. So, yeah, take that as you will, but that's how you get the achievement. You basically have to get on top of the Sky Fortress, as Indiana Bronze, throw the person off, and then hopefully the achievement will unlock. But if this tip has helped, please leave a like, share the video, because this one almost drove me insane. And if it does work for it flying in the air, make sure to share it around, because a lot of people are having issues with this achievement. This is the actual unlock here on my Xbox, so you guys can actually see the Sky Fortresses in the air when I do this. So this possibly is what is causing people issue. So hopefully this does work. If it does, like I said, leave the video a like, share it around. Hopefully other people can get this achievement, because it is a very annoying achievement to get. And yeah, hopefully you enjoy your 1000 Gs. I will be making more video guides soon, so if you guys are enjoying these, please watch them as well. And I will see you guys in the next achievement video. Thank you so much for watching. Have a great day. Bye-bye.